Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect where in the previous episodes we finished off our island facility, this thing here, and overall I'm fairly happy with the design. It functions as intended and for the most part didn't really see any major changes to the initial design. So for the first island facility, pretty happy with how it went. During the course of the building and management of that, we did see some misbehaviour. We saw some fighting, we sadly, sadly had seen some deaths in the facility, uh, mainly snitches and things like that but there was also some fail parole that went uh, south very very quickly we also saw an escape attempt here and there and also a bit of a tunnel around here as well but for the most part no real serious breaches of peace or conduct so we didn't have any riots we didn't have any fighting and none of that sort of thing in the previous episode we did manage to successfully escape from the facility and the way we did that was by fighting getting a set of keys which we actually didn't set out to do but we got a set of keys we ran out here and and yes, I know, that still haven't fixed that. Uh, with this set of staff keys all the way to this right-hand side, through the reception, dodging some fire from the tasers. And then finally, we had the swimming perk, and we just sort of swam from here across. In, in, it was quite interesting to see that this area here is actually free for anyone to go. Anything outside the walls, between the outside wall and the water, is uh, not set, and you can't set it to staff only. So that's um, a bit of a quirk there, and something I'm going to take on board for the next build that we do. Either way, this is the extreme testing initiative, the episode and the series where we go and induce certain behaviours that you wouldn't really expect to see naturally within the prison environment. Environment. Well, maybe you would, but that means that the prison has really, really failed. So things like fighting and riot and that sort of thing, and we just want to see what the prisoner's behaviour is and also how the guards fare and that sort of thing. Either way, let's uh, not waste any more time. Let's go over to our staff here where I've got a mod that allows me to do things like riots and jailbreak and things like that. So it's currently work slash free time, so most prisoners are actually in their cells, as you can see, because it's coming close to lockup. But if we go to instant fight and click, then we unpause it, we'll be able to see that every single prisoner has started to fight. Now, obviously, anyone outside is going to be targeted by these snipers here, and they will get either warning shots or just straight-up shots. And there you go. The prisoners are fighting. Sometimes they are fighting themselves. Uh, themselves, sorry. Uh, yes, the prisoners are fighting other prisoners, is what I meant. Um, however, yeah, there's some prisoners fighting prisoners. However, a lot of the time, they're also fighting the guards. You can see we're already up to... Uh, 26 deaths and increasing here. Obviously, the guards are trying to stop this, and there's some keys. There's a uh, shotgun on the ground. We were up to 36 deaths. Good grief. That is actually a very, very... Uh, thirsty set of prisoners here. To be fair, a lot of these, well, they all are high risk and they do have a lot of traits that are like extremely deadly, extremely tough, that sort of thing. Interesting to see that only one prisoner, uh, sorry, two prisoners so far have chosen to try and escape from the facilities. This is prisoner uh, Matt Sadler here who is now going outside. They have a set of keys and they're actually following the same escape route that I did in the previous episode. So that's actually quite interesting to see. They are now going to the edge here and they're not able to swim across. They don't actually have any traits that allow them to swim as far as I'm aware, but they are actually trying to f uh, go over this fence. They're trying to get back into the facility, so I don't really know what they were attempting there. There's another set of keys picked up by Gareth here, who's then dropped them there, and yeah, they're not swimming across. Okay, that's interesting to see. A riot is also now underway. I'm not entirely sure where the riot is underway. It looks like to be around here. Um, but basically, this is now certainly not really... Uh, I wouldn't say a massive problem, believe it or not, but it's... Oh yeah, it's still up here. So we're going to go guard response and send them up there. So this is still technically within our control, um, but it's certainly something that we really don't want to see. There's no prisoners escaped, and obviously there's been 50 deaths, 51 deaths now. So what I would probably do, emergencies, I'd call in the elite ops team and the air paramedics, but we actually don't have enough money to do that. Can we in some way get the... No, our bank loan is currently far too low because it's still bugged, and um, yeah, we can't actually sell anything. So basically... Basically, we can't even uh, do anything in terms of bringing people in to, you know, try and quell this. So, we'd have to do with the staff that we have, and I think it is actually possible. I think we could probably do that. However, 
It's something that it would be very difficult to recover from simply because of the amount of repairs that we have to undertake. Um, obviously, money is not actually a big problem. We've got seven grand incoming, but also we're going to get 23 pr plus prisoners as well. So, yeah, we'd have to restaff the facility and bring stuff in. So, it would still work. You can see the uh, riot is still... Um, not stopped. Oh no, it actually has been stopped there. So basically we've managed to recover. The prisoners have pretty much killed each other off. That's pretty much what's gone on here. So that's a behaviour that I sort of expected to see because of these are high-risk prisoners and they have a lot of like say strong deadly um, those sort of traits. You know, I expect them to do that and um, that's exactly what has happened. Okay, let's try and see what happens if we just go for a full riot. So once again, same map, same save. Let's go over to staff and the instant riot and we will click and you can see we now have all of our prisoners rioting. So as opposed to simply um, fighting each other, they are now wanting to take territory. And once they've done that, they also may want to uh, leave. So you can see a lot of prisoners, already a lot more prisoners are wanting to try and leave this area. In fact, some of them are actually smashing through this door here to try and gain access to all of the uh, power systems. Now that's something that isn't actually a big problem in this facility, because if you break this, uh, in previous facilities if we had say an automatic door opener and the power goes off it could cause some problems but we don't have any of that we decided not to bother but you can see we have a lot of prisoners that are now coming this way probably towards the armory so we'll see how that goes in terms of territory they've managed to take over the well several areas they've taken over the kitchen no, the canteen but not the kitchen yet they've taken over two of the cell blocks two of the showers and the chapel and the common room so they are taking territory once again this security room and this office they're also taken over because apparently fountain pens are the most precious thing in the world and i think they're going to smash up all of the power and um, it looks like that is the case yes so they are making their way to the power station and if i was prisoner edwards here i would not be well, AI would not be attacking the power station, but if I was to attack power stations, I would probably do so clothed. But um, at least the guards' batons immediately clothe them when they get hit, so, you know, we've got that going for us, which is nice. Uh, we could do things like shake down and lock up and, uh, well, bang up mainly is to, you know, to, sh to close all these down. But um, let's be honest, um, we're just trying to see exactly what happens when all of this, uh, when all of this occurs. So, we have not yet had any major... Um, like escape attempts they've just sort of fought around here which is interesting i would have thought more would have been trying to get to the armory but that's not actually happened you can see that obviously the water boilers broke and the power's off and such so we've got actually the power isn't off but the water is the water pumps broke so we've got no water and heating and stuff on these prisoners luckily it is spring and 14 degrees so that's fine but if we had the exposure thing on then that would be all kinds of bad so we could, if we want to, go to emergencies and call in... Well, we actually can't call in any elite operations because, again, we don't have the cash for it. So what we'd have to do is call in the elite ops and then bring them round. And you can see, in terms of deaths, we're on 26. So that's actually half the half the amount from the previous fight because this is all about taking territory and causing trouble rather than you know specifically taking other people out they're also mainly taking out the staff and the guards rather than taking each other out there's still there's a couple of exceptions in place you can see there's some damage across the board which could have been uh, that could have been caused from fighting the guard and stuff but either way you can see that we do still have some uh, areas around here. We could put on free fire, uh, so you can say free fire all sectors, um, and you know that armed guard will start to you know attack people where necessary. So if we send the armed guard here, let's see what happens. So they're going to come into this area, and they've got free fire mode on. So they're not going to uh, fire any warning shots. They are just directly targeting these prisoners here, who are actually putting their hands up. Well, some of them are. Some of them are obviously falling over. And uh, I'm just telling them to, to move in, although they are not wanting to do so. There we go. I'm telling them to move in again. And this is where we can start taking back the uh, the territory, albeit a little bit more difficult. Let's go over to emergencies and the elite ops team because we, we are able to call that in. And as you can see, we have this helicopter come down. And I don't know where it's going because that's where our helipad is. So where is our elite ops team going? Ah, oh, it's coming here. And are we able to... Tell them to move out of there. Um, we can tell the helicopter to move. Okay. 
This is interesting. Can we, like, land it in the middle of here? Are we able to do that? I don't think so. Um, land helicopter. Right, so we can tell it where to go. Yes, yeah, so I have op you can say like land or move. Hang on, let's see what I've got. Dismiss, land, deploy squad. So can I deploy squad here? I can! So you can deploy the squad anywhere. Oh, that's cool. So they're going like down on zip lines and then we can bring them in. Oh, that's re I really like that. That's really cool. <laughs> it's a shame you only see this when it goes south. Anyway, so they're in here and... Um, Right, they're basically like the uh, the National Guard, aren't they? They just uh, they come in and, yep, they've taken control of that. Um, I mean, taking control of this stuff is not going to be overly difficult, is it? As you can see, they are just, yeah, they're, they're literally not taking any prisoners. Um, let's move in here and they will do that. So you can see that three grand gets you a lot of really annoyed soldiers um, who will just fly off the helicopter siege style and uh, start to take names and uh, take territory and there you go see they are actually f no that does say yeah they're all un all unconscious and stuff so they are yeah they, they actually are not just wiping the prisons out they're actually stopping as well which is pretty good let's just turn that free fire off there not that we really need to but we'll do that there and we'll see if we can take this territory so elite ops um as you can see they are very very good at what they do yeah they're actually they're actually putting them unconscious they're not killing them Right, I thought they were. I thought they were actually killing them, but they're not. They're only firing up to a point where they they put them unconscious. So that's really good. I wonder if it's specifically designed to fire like they're firing rubber bullets or something like that, or whether they're just um, trained so that it stops. Obviously, there's a hard cap on the damage that they've taken. Or we could just be extremely lucky. I don't know, but I'm I'm guessing it's the former. Either way, uh, that is the riot, and we've seen what happens there. We yeah, we can see that. What happens is they take territory and they don't want to escape, which is pretty much what we expected. They're just trying to break stuff and fight. Okay, so let's see what happens now, and this is probably going to be the most interesting. Let's see what happens when they all try to escape and what they do. Okay, so this time we're going to tell them to do a instant jailbreak. So their task is to try and escape from the facility as fast as they can and by the most direct method. Now, because this is an island, I really don't know where the weak spot would be. I don't know whether they're going to try and climb over the wall, whether they're going to try and rush out the front. It seems to me that they're going for the latter option, and they are currently all charging out the front, although because they are high-risk prisoners with a lot of, well, a lot of uh, extremely deadly, extremely quick traits, traits that obviously are causing them to uh, get into a fight and then be able to, well, take out their target, you can see that although they are fighting, they are fighting to get past that person. So any one of these cell blocks, they are actually trying to get out and that's where their main fighting is occurring. And obviously, as soon as they get outside, you've also got the snipers as well. So these are doing their job. That's why we put these towers in there in the first place. However, if they get past all of that, you can see that they are really desperately trying to get out this front door. And the thing is, what are they going to do when they get out here? So we've got, we've seen a couple of people go out, but they didn't seem to get anywhere. And ah, actually what's happening here, and this is a, this is a strange one. They're actually going to the armory and they're picking up loads of weapons. I wonder why that is. Now this is, I like to say, an escape attempt and they are trying to escape. But what's happening is they're getting to this section and they're not going any further. So I don't think any of these prisoners are able to swim. You can see they're getting to the end and then they're just dropping this. So, oh wow, and okay, now now this guard's just shooting everybody. Oh, and there's a couple of people saying they're escaping, which we're aware of. But then they drop and then they come back. So they're not going anywhere else. They've sort of got their freedom around here and they've left it at that. There's no riots underway, which is something I didn't expect. A lot more deaths as well. Once again, being the psychologist is not a good job. More riots in the left there. Wow. That's something I did not expect. I would have thought at least one or two prisoners would have had the trait of being able to swim. But maybe that's something they have to learn somehow in the, in the game. But then again, we've got that turned on. But they haven't really had the opportunity to do that because we haven't got any, any areas where they can do it. So, even though they are really focused on escaping they're not able to do so so basically this is 
as far as I can tell, an inescapable facility. <laughs> you can get through the walls, but none of the prisons are able to swim away. Unless there's other other things afoot. Because you can see they're getting to this one part and then dropping stuff, and I don't know why. Okay, well at least we know that even if things went, you know, really wrong, then we still wouldn't have these prisoners reach the mainland. Right, okay, let's try something that is, quite frankly, ludicrous, but quite fun to see. Okay, we've recently seen what happens when some prisoners get to the armory, but what happens if the armory comes to them? And in this particular case, every prisoner is armed with something, ranging from a made-up club to an assault rifle, and everything in between. Well, immediately, it starts to kick off, because that is what the prisoners like to do. Uh, they've also got drills and such, and you can see they're now reverting to their own their own needs, whether it be the need to fight, or rather desire, I wouldn't say need, the desire to fight, the desire to escape, the desire to set fire by the look of it, because this person has actually got a lighter, so that's something that we haven't seen there, and all of these prisoners here are making a beeline for the exit again, and I'm guessing that this is where they drop all of those weapons once again, and yep, that's exactly what happens. You can see they're trying it in the water, and oh, there we go, we've actually got a prisoner trying to swim across, and a couple of them are managing to do that, so it might just be that strong fear is quick. They don't actually have that trait in escape mode. You have to pick that trait. But all right, there. Some of them are actually in the water. See that? Some of them are in the water. So it just seems that you know a lot of them are not able to swim or not willing to swim. These guys have actually just climbed back over the wall to then go back in. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> I wonder whether it's because this is like the closest pathfinding way to the edge and it's just glitching out because it's a like a, a toothed sort of edge. I don't know because they jump in the water and then they come back out. Hmm, I'm not too sure. Either way, that's not good. Um, right, let us go ahead and we're going to go over to our emergencies. We're going to go for one, two, three elite ops. Oh, we can't, can we not call more than one? I don't think we can. We'll bring it. Oh, you can only have one helicopter at any one time, I think. So there is our helicopter. We're going to bring the helicopter to the center. And once again, we're going to use our special um, option for deploying the squad. And go, go, go as they all jump out of the helicopter. That doesn't get old. <laughs> and then they will start to leave. We can't call anything else while that helicopter's here. But obviously, these guys are now able to start to take territory. Some of them are going about their own business anywhere and just taking control. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave them to do their thing if they are doing that. We can call in another one, so we're just going to keep calling in these helicopters. This one will go to the top here, and then we'll just say, are you, and deploy, deploy squad. Um, we can see that we've got a huge problem in the in the canteen there and we'll have to deal with that at some point but let's just see if we can get these guys in um i need to get a set of uh air firefighters and the paramedics so yeah um in terms of escapes then look you can see that basically they're not there's only one or two well sorry i think it's just one that's able to get out yeah one prisoner escaped so far that's the only time we've seen that uh we're gonna go for air firefighters because well, you would, wouldn't you? All right, so let's see what we can do. There's going to be the air firefighters land, and we'll tell all of those to go probably in here and fight that from that side there. Where are our, where are our guys? Uh, those uh, are not taking that out yet. And I'll say take that back over. Those guys, we can say go this way. And you can see, obviously, there's areas that we just haven't yet um, got under control, but we're getting there. Um, obviously the fire is getting fought, but damage is already being done. I mean, that's probably a 15 grand repair when you consider we need all of the walls back in, all of the plumbing and lighting and all of the flooring and that sort of thing. Yeah, it's a, a bit problematic to say the least. Let's go ahead and find this other elite operations team, which are currently not really making much progress. Let me tell those guys to go inside the cell block and there you go they're now able to put those down yep put that quent there call the right yep that's fine it's good that they are yeah using the necessary force but not extreme or you know over the top forces and you know, actually killing the killing the prisoners like the national guard would if um if you get that 
that trait where essentially the National Guard come in, they just basically turn up and, you know, just sweep through the entire facility, which is not good at all. But, you can see, Riot is almost finished. The prisoners are not getting onto the visitor boat, which is something I may have thought would have, would have been nice to see added, to be fair. But also, uh, one could say that about the buses in uh, the standard version of the game there. We're able to put out this fire uh, down the south bit here, but we also are seeing it spread up the top as well. And obviously, it's quite smoky and they're quite slow to move through that. But we've got some good, good coverage there. Still a bit more rioting. Um, I'm going to have to tell them to go and... Uh, take that out and we'll go inside there and follow that through but of all of them um, I was more surprised at the escape obviously the instant fight they all just fought each other we expected that the riot again not really much of a surprise we saw them just riot and smash stuff up and take territory yep once once again that's sort of expected behavior for that but the escape they made a beeline towards the armory now we can see how secure the facility is with the amount of guards. We've got armed guards, we've got dogs, we've got normal guards with tasers, we've got the snipers out here. We saw how secure that was. When anyone tried to come out here, yeah, didn't get very far at all. And the main thing is that that was en masse with an artificial um, behavioural trigger. So that wouldn't you wouldn't get the entire cell block normally doing that in one go. So the fact that we managed to stop that with just one... Um, we just sort of like our standard setup is really really good to see um, furthermore you know the 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 fact that they get here and don't escape is a bit of a shame you can see look they're trying to that guy's swimming um, against the current uh, you see they're swimming and then they sort of go back and I don't know whether that's because of a bug or, or what I really don't know what the deal is there either way uh, we have seen this thing under extreme uh, testing conditions no massive surprises other than the the escape one where they actually armed up before going out would like to know why more of them didn't swim and why only one person has escaped but it's nice to know that the facility is fairly secure if not fireproof either way i hope you have enjoyed the video and the series overall um, we'll either be continuing on with an expansion depending on how the votes were or we'll be going for a new build either way hope you enjoy that too <laughs> we're gonna leave it there thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings